Ladies and gentlemen, that 600 horsepower on the roll, Jim Lavelle in the North American Texan. through that part, 
they would move on to the advanced trainers, the Texans. SMJ is what the Navy called it. S for trainer and for Navy, J for Berliner Choice, which was the name before the designation, the J given to it, the name before North American Aviation. Now let's watch Jim as he dives down. He's got the pedal to the metal now. The Air Army Air Force called it the AT-6, advanced trainer number six. There's one half of a Cuban 8. That's five-eighths of a loop and a half. That maneuver is the Air races in 1936 when Len Povey, who was doing an air show, well, that was Ocho Cubano, Cuban 8. It's a name that he used in the Air Force pilots how to fly aerobatics. And that name, Cuban 8, has stuck for all of these 76 years. Watch him as he does this barrel roll, but check the wheels. They're tucked up in the wheel wells right now as he rolls around that way to the sky. And the wheels go up. No, the wheels went down. The gear was extended. They would go slow enough and low enough that they could spot the targets of opportunity. If they found the target, they'd circle back around and they'd shoot these white phosphorus rockets or willy peats into the target area. They would billow up with a great amount of white, very, very white, bright smoke. And then the guy in the Texan flying the mosquito missions, as it was, as they were called, would radio up to the fast moving jets and say, hit the smoke, and then the jets could come in and destroy the targets. Very, very strong, rugged trainer known as the pilot maker. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Jim Lavelle. required by the FAA, which he did during the course of this trip. He also owns and flies a vintage two-seat air coupe, which is also under, falls under the light sport category. Speaking of the light sport category, it is our newest uh, gateway to aviation. It grew out of the, out of the ultralight category. It basically allows you to fly with half the, a minimum of 20 training hours. It allows you to fly a two-seat.